I would like to take a minute to review the lecture for workspaces, panels, and presets. Now, in my opinion, these are kind of our shorter chapters, and they're a lot of the stuff are things you're just going to kind of figure out on your own, and so I'm not going to spend that much time reviewing the the specifics of the chapter, but I do want to point out some of the key things. And so you can open up the slideshow if you want. I'm going to open it in full screen mode, but I am going to bounce back and forth to Photoshop, so it would be a good idea for you to pause the video and just open a random picture in Photoshop. So I grabbed a picture off of um, the Open Graphic Arts, um, Open Educational Resources website. That is something that a couple of us, Salt Lake Community College full-time faculty, I guess I'm part-time faculty, are working to develop so that all the courses that we teach are available for use if you need to kind of come back and reflect on the class or if you end up needing to show somebody how to do something kind of thing. Okay, so with workspaces, panels, and presets, I've combined this into one very short lecture. Our objectives, or the objectives that you should set for yourself, are to begin to navigate workspace locations and to define key terminology that might be involved with workspaces. We'll prefer, uh, perform some basic workspace adjustments, um, nesting and docking panels and things like that. And then we'll explore some workspace preferences. For chapter six, which is panels and presets, we're gonna focus more on panels and presets. Um, we're going to talk about presets a lot when we talk about styles towards the end of the semester, so that's why I'm not going to talk about that too much. Uh, we'll begin to master panels and presets in Photoshop, and as I was saying that, I'm not sure how you master them. They just exist. It's not something that you'll be like really, really good at or really, really bad at. It's just, they just, they're kind of there. Uh, we'll identify some tools on the tools panel. I'm not going to go through all of them. I just want to kind of pick out some of the, the ones you'll use more often at this point in the semester. We will talk about the idea that you can save and you can load libraries, but again, we'll talk about that in more detail when we cover styles towards the end of the semester. Um, we're not really going to talk too much about it, but your chapter talks about the idea of identifying file formats for those saved libraries. Uh, it's important to know that when you try to open a file, if it won't open, why it won't open. And a lot of the times it's a file format that you can't open in Photoshop, but you can use in Photoshop. And then you could load it as like a swatch library or a styles library or an actions file and things like that. And then we'll talk about the idea that you can um, use brush and presets libraries and you can expand their capabilities by doing something called appending your libraries. So if we're going to get started, let's first talk about just opening Photoshop. And so once you open Photoshop, it looks something like this, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, I'm on a, on a Mac right now. You have a window, there's stuff floating around, um, and there's a background to it. And that background is called the application frame. And so everything you see right now is your application window or your application frame. And we're going to start to identify different things on that application frame that you may need to use for your project. First, at the very top of the screen, in the top left-hand corner if you're on a Mac, um, you have a menu bar and you have an options bar. And what's important about the menu bar is that it's the same no matter what tool you're using, it will never change. Um, on the Mac version, it's the Photoshop CC menu, the file menu, edit menu, image menu, layer menu, etc. And so if I'm lecturing to you and I say I want you to go to the window menu, you should begin to understand that the very top of the screen is your, is your window menu. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that on a Mac, it'll always be, if I go to Photoshop here, it'll always be at the very top of my screen. If I move my application frame away from there, um, it's still at the top of the screen. But on a PC, sometimes it's attached to your application frame. So if you move your application frame around, on a PC, your menu bar will be attached to the top of the application frame. Wherever your menus are, you need to make sure that you know where they are and you know how to get back to them. 